Welcome to episode 5 of Infraspace, everybody. Um, last episode, if you remember where we left off, we were watching all of these habitats upgrade to level 4. I'm willing to bet that if we wait a few more seconds, there we go. That one just upgraded as well. Um, our immigration rate, currently it's high. And our goal for this level is to fill in the entirety of the rest of this area over here and that's gonna be a lot of work and you know what um, we have more than enough population we have a population of 1500 and only 1180 of those are actually at work so we've got a bunch of uh, people that can do some work for us and I reckon the first thing that we're gonna do is just to double our um, what are these home appliance capacity over here that'll probably also involve upgrading this road so that it can uh, carry more people um, and yeah I really hope that well that's gonna be able to allow us to then fill in this entire area with habitats here we are I did the area as you can see much more mines here much more mines here doubled the production capacity which is a very nice as you can see I also upgraded this road over here it's now a four lane and it's a highway and you can see that that is really necessary look at all of these hover trucks hovering all the way to their destinations and oh wow look at all this iron here that is a whole lot of iron as well um, yeah, these, that, that's, that, that's all going to take a while to get uh, sorted out. This area is now producing all the electronics, uh, no, sorry, home appliances we need. And look at how much of these habitats have upgraded. Our immigration rate is skyrocketing, and that is why we'd better quickly get started on this area over here. Um, now, obviously, we can't place in everything just yet. What we first need to do is fill out these areas over here with everything the habitat need, with everything the habitats need. So the parks, the atmosphere processors, the farms to produce the survival food, the water tanks, obviously, um, and we're gonna hook them all up with some pipes as well. I'll extend out the entire pipe system around this area so that we won't get a huge clutter from a bunch of trucks we don't actually need. Everything that needs to be placed has been placed, and that's great. We just need a, oh, I don't actually have the, this thing, the power substation down here, so let me quickly go ahead and just hook that up like so, there we go, that should be connected now, very nice, and now everything here has power, um, in the middle of course we need the stadium, and I'm just running this for a little bit so that these things can produce some stuff and that that way they can then um, that that be like they can be just a little bit stocked up you know um, of items so that when we place uh, all the habitats down that they can immediately start delivering and upgrading them uh, you know what, why don't we start with that right now, actually. Um, let's just fill in these um, top parts over here. Um, that should be the only stuff we uh, I'm going to fill in for now. So just this top part as well as oh, this top part over here. And then I think very quickly we're going to move down into the bit of a section below as well. Um, there we go. Got all those habitats in. Placing all those down made me realize that this is probably a lot more than I think it is. <laughs> um, immigration rate is still high, so that's perfect. Um, we're actually 0 0.3 above the immigration rate. And oh, look at that. Here's all the survival food coming in. I mean, most of these will probably have a counter up in no time. Um, so you know what, I think we can just go ahead and place in all the habitats in this section here as well. Now everything has been placed in, in this row as well. It's looking beautiful. 
Um, they're all still waiting for oxygen, of course. Um, these things are producing. There we go. Um, we'll just have to wait a little while before everything has the oxygen it needs. And whilst we're at it, I think, why not place in the parks? I actually forgot that earlier, so that's one park. Two parks right over here. Already beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and now we just need to wait for these all to get supplied with oxygen. Um, oh, look at that. Here's one of the habitats we place. It's already in the next level. Here's another one. We should start seeing a stream of home appliances heading this way as well. Um, yes, yes, yes. These are all producing great as well. Yeah, I think a bunch of these up back here have a bunch of stock that they... Yeah, see, outgoing storage full here. So in the second that a few of them upgrade, there's going to be a bunch of home appliances heading this way all at the same time. Um, and I'm willing to bet that a bunch of these up here now have a counter. Yeah, 40 seconds in that one. Oh, that, uh, oxygen and water is very low. Um, I might just want to place in a few more extra temporary ones so that we can supply everything. I'm not really sure though. Redid the math, we're producing more than enough water and oxygen. Um, as you can see, a bunch of these habitats are getting more and more fulfilled. Um, I think we just need to wait a while until they all get the resources that they need. Anyways, of course, we've already gotten them the home appliances, which is what they need to upgrade to level, um, to this level, level 2. No, they need to upgrade to level 3. So they need, they can all upgrade to level 3 in theory. They can't upgrade to level 4 yet, because we're only producing enough computers to supply this area up here. Um, and that is why, whilst these are all just, you know, casually upgrading and things like that, oh, let's still check the immigration rate, that is still high, that is amazing, um, why, whilst these are all just upgrading and, um, getting the resources they need, I went ahead over here and then just double our production capacity, and it's really simple, I really helped myself Oh, city level 4, amazing. Um, that's great. Anyways, as I was saying, I feel like I really helped myself here, um, because everything is laid out to be able to just um, double the production, like, exactly. Um, I just literally only need a place in the buildings and a few mines over here, and over here, and over here. And simple as that, everything is being placed in. Now, of course, it's going to be a bit of a traffic hell because everything is going to get all the resources um, all at once. Um, as you can see, all of these electronics traveling away to go right over here. Anyways, um, if we just wait a second, again, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Also, all these resources, look at all that copper and iron traveling down here, aluminium coming from here. It's amazing! Um, so all these resources heading into here, and as you can see, the computers are traveling out into this train station over here. Um, and we're producing more than enough, um, or at least we, sh we should be. I'm checking the production overview. As you can see, we're producing 60.5, and we only need 30.1. Um, we can head back to over here, and as you can see, most of these habitats are now level 2. We also occasionally have the level 3 habitats as well, um, and also a very large amount of the habitats over here have also upgraded to level 4. We're just waiting on these few back here, and I honestly think it won't be long before some of these habitats that we placed in just at the beginning of this episode um, today, it wouldn't surprise me if they, um, if they're gonna, ooh, currently being delivered seven computers, it wouldn't surprise me if they would start upgrading to level four pretty soon as well. Anyways, whilst I was building up the, uh, the computer area, um, look at that, look at all those fresh computers coming out over here and supplying all these habitats, amazing. Anyways, whilst I was, um, Whilst I was building up that area, we actually unlocked the stadiums, which means that I can go ahead and place a stadium 
right in here. Boom. And it doesn't cover the top few. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Uh, but that that's fine, I guess. We'll just have to live with that. There's not much we can do about it, is there? Anyways, um, so yeah. Oh, look at that. All these habitats are upgrading amazingly. All these home appliances as well. Still waiting on these few to get oxygen. Um, we should still be producing enough though, so it might just be, again, a bit of a waiting game. And look at that. Look at that. This habitat, we place this in this episode, and it's already upgraded to level number four. That's amazing. Also, um, these habitats over here, they need good meals to upgrade. And we're not going to focus on that right now, but if you'll remember the terrible mistake from last episode... Yeah, it's terrible, I know. Um, why isn't why is none of this actually running? They need so they're my system is flawed. Oh yeah, I see why. These shouldn't be one-way roads. Um, as I was going to say, we, we're not going to focus on this this episode because we we're going to focus on um, filling in this entire area over here. And that's also what we're going to do. Ooh, let me check the immigration rate. Yeah, it's now moderate. However, look, the average habitat level is again higher than now than the... Um, oh, it's rising quickly though. Um, Anyways, these should all be upgrading very fast, even faster, especially because of the computers over here. And do these not have enough power? Oh dear. Well, yeah, that that's an issue. Hmm, are these all lacking iron? Some of them are, yeah, and they're lacking sand, but that's coming in through here, and that's just going to take a while. Um, maybe we can help them out a bit. We can go like that can go in there and this can go in there as well. What if I did that and that? What do you think of that? Is that gonna make you guys go faster? Not really. Those are just standing still and all the sand production is standing still as well. Anyways, luckily these computer factories aren't really lacking anything just yet, and they're producing amazingly um, all these computers. I should have probably done this a lot earlier, but I've now filled in the little spots over here where in the future I'm going to place my schools. For right now, I've just filled these up with atmosphere processors um, so we can just get producing a bit more oxygen and get the flow going a little so we can just supply these houses and then obviously once I've unlocked schools and my habitats need them to upgrade I'm just going to remove these again um, checking over here at the spaceport sadly the immigration rate is moderate um, it's no longer high um, I'm hoping that will change if we get a bit of an influx in the amount of computers we're currently getting, um, as well as these last habitats finally getting their oxygen supplied. As I said, sadly, I should have probably done this quite a lot earlier. Then it would have really made a difference. Now I don't think it will, and I think in probably not a lot of time, our immigration rate is going to drop to low. Um, that's kind of irritating, however, we do have um, uh, like a 250 more population than jobs, so that is fine. So we do definitely have room for expansion, and we're not going to be running out of resources and stuff like that for this col co colony soon. Um, especially because, like, look at the traffic here. There is barely any traffic apart from over here right at this um, at this park, but that's fine. Uh, that's like the only spot in the entire city where there's traffic. Um, heading over this other park as well, uh, of course, but literally nowhere else 
um, there's traffic, although probably, yeah, also at the stadium over here, there's a bit of traffic. Um, anyways, we still obviously have room to upgrade every single one of these streets over here to the four-lane ones. Um, we have enough uh, space for that, not the six-lane, I believe, but like that, that doubles our capacity on the roads, as well as being able to upgrade this outer ring to the four lane, and if it's necessary, even the six lane um, as well, highway, um, so that that's great. We really don't need to worry about traffic. Um, and that's amazing. In previous cities I've done, um, traffic has always been hell. However, because of the pipes, um, I'm definitely willing to sacrifice the 33% efficiency. And, ooh, it looks like it doesn't have enough power as well. So let's just place in another one of these things. There we go. That should give it enough power. Do we have enough power here now? Yes, we do. You know what? Since we'll probably need it soon anyways, I'll just place in another one. Um, if I don't place it in now, then I'll have to place it in in like uh, 20 minutes or something, so that's fine. Um, oh, look at all these habitats. They're all upgrading to level 4 now. That is amazing. Um, like, this this should probably be, be rising a little bit. I'm pretty confident that we won't drop to low really fast, I think, I hope, maybe. <laughs> um, anyways... I was I was going to want to see if we could um, connect this up so that we can at least just quickly start supplying these people a little bit with the good food um, and like all I'm going to do is just place a train station over here and then connect that up and actually um, I was going to say once all these upgrade uh, habitats have upgraded to level three, then I'm going to start placing in um, much more level one habitats over here. And like in the meantime, I'll just start working on the train line, I guess. The train line or the tracks have been set up pretty easy. I haven't actually set up the line yet. Um, we just need to set up a new one for the good meals. There we go. Um, then let's just add a station, so that station, and then that station, and then we can add trains on the line, how many do you think? I think that maybe like five, six should be good. Um, I'll keep my eye on that though, and I'll see how it goes. Anyways, heading back over here, all these habitats have now reached level 3. Immigration rate, who it's moderate, but I don't think it's going to take very long before we hit low. Um, anyways, we've unlocked neural processors. Um, I don't need them for anything yet, I believe. However, um, we are going to start setting up yellow science, I think, next episode. Maybe not this episode. I don't think we'll have enough time for that. What we do definitely have enough time for is to get done exactly what I wanted to get done today, and that is to place down all these habitats and then all these habitats oh look at those you can just constantly see habitats upgrading see just as i say that another habitat upgrades anyways um oh dear there and there and then finally these last few that was a bit too quick <laughs> let's just move these out of the way there we go, and then finally place in these last two, and there we go, there we have it, this is exactly what I wanted to do in today's episode. No way, these all already have oxygen. Yo! See? Oh, it was so worth it putting those extra atmosphere processors there. Um, none of them have, have water yet, sadly, though. Um, that's something I'll need to check. Because are these not backed up in water at all? They don't seem to have any spare unless some of these big. Oh, all these starting ones already have. Look, that one already had a countdown, uh, upgrade countdown. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Wow. That that's amazing. Anyways, we should also very uh, soon start seeing some trains with some good meals on them. Um, heading back to over here. This should be the first train to collect a bunch of good meals. Um, ooh, yes, we can see them traveling over here. 
Um, oh yeah, that's that, that's that, guys. This is exactly what I wanted to do in today's episode. Um, I am actually gonna do one more thing. Wow, look at all those computers. That's a lot. That's gonna upgrade all these habitats. Um, anyways, I'm, I just want to go back here real fast. And now this um, this area was set up to supply the top half of this area, much like the computers and the home appliances. And we did both of those in today's episode, and I think that's why we should also just quickly sort out this. Um, where is it? Here we go. Um, we just need to exactly double what we're doing here right now. So that's one, two, three, and that's... there we go. We can actually move this one one more up. There. Very nice. So that's that part doubled. Then we want to double one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Beautiful. And then we want to place down another six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have the issue of not being able to double the production of this. Hmm. So this road travels in this direction, so I can place one down here and one down here. So that's one, two, and then I guess three, four, five. That'll have to be it. I can't really place down anymore. Um, I am just going to move this one right up there. Very nice. Um, I might, if if I want to, I might eventually move this backwards, but I really cannot be bothered to do that right now. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Anyways, we don't have enough power here, so let's just place down another one of these. That should hopefully solve that issue. And now this production is going very, very greatly. Um, ooh, I'm just wondering... If I can um, move a few of these buildings, so this one, and no, that's the only one I can move. <laughs> I was thinking like, yeah, maybe I can move these and then free up one of these lengths so that I can add in a few more of these, but no, that's not going to happen. Um, if I want to do that, then I'll have to move everything backwards that way. I'll probably just do that in between episodes. Anyways, um, we're producing food, and we're producing traffic jams as well. Um, okay, I'll, um, I'll go ahead and upgrade the roads as well in between episodes, um, and I'm just going to wait for a few of these to all have passed, because I don't want to delete all of them. That would be a shame. Um, anyways, checking back at the immigration rate for one last time, it is now low, sadly. Um, maybe if all these upgrade fast enough, they won't be low, but I highly doubt it. Anyways, that was that episode. This was episode 5. Um, remember to subscribe and hit the bell if you don't want to miss out on episode 4. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.